You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, today we're talking about the Canon Image ProGraph IPF 6350, which is this roll printer right here. Now this prints 24 inch rolls as well as normal paper stocks. It's an inkjet printer and this entire thing, the printer and the stand that comes on with this basket, uh, the one that we have right here, it retails for $2,904 and it is an amazing printer. Now the thing I like about this is that it prints these roll prints and so you have this big roll of paper that's 24 inches wide by up to 100 feet long and so you can make some very very large prints like you see here. Now I printed a bunch of prints. These are only three of the prints that we printed but the nice thing you can see is as this comes through here you get prints and so for example here's this monkey that we printed and you can see that it is 24 inches wide and it's actually three feet long, but you could make that six feet or however long you need to make it. Now the nice thing about this is it has a built-in cutter and so as uh, paper is coming out of this it actually cuts that off. There's a razor that comes by there and so all of your cutting and everything is done right in the printer. Now if you want you can also print normal paper stocks so if you have let's say a 13 by 19 or 8 and a half by 11 something like that you can open this up and you can put a single sheet in there and that'll print out just like a normal non-roll printer and so it's, it's pretty awesome. Now this will accept two or three inch uh, rolls so the, depending on the core you can print two or three inches and on the other side of this printer over here we actually have a little basket that holds all kinds of accessories and so some of those are things like the different core sizes and so uh, those are held in there and so all those goodies are held right inside the case. Now this prints over either a USB 2.0 cable if you want to print that right into your uh, computer or it also prints over a uh, network so it's got a, a network adapter so you can have uh, multiple printing stations if you need that so if you have a, a large creative team and they all need access to this printer well you can just have them all go through the network and it works just fine. Now this has a resolution of 2400 by 1200 dpi and so you get some really exceptionally high quality prints. Um, and over here, let me show you these inks. So this has 12 inks and this uses the uh, Lucia EX pigment inks. So they're pigment inks that are going to last a long time. Um, and the nice thing about these, these are really large tanks. So I'll just pull one out. Now these tanks are about $75 each and there's 12 tanks total. And the thing I like about this, they have a label on top and there's a label right here. So those match up um, and they'll slide right in there. But in addition to that, they actually have these little plastic uh, tabs on the bottom of them and it's different for each ink and so it's hard to put this in the wrong compartment which makes it nice if you're working late and you're sort of tired and you need to replace inks that you don't do something dumb like putting the green and the blue accidentally so there's some protection there as well um, and then close that and this actually has uh, tubes that come in here and there's a print head that's hidden right now to keep it nice and clean but those tubes connect that to that uh, print head and when you originally buy this there is uh, some ink that has to be put into those tubes so it consumes quite a bit of ink on the very first install so just be aware of that but the nice thing is it ships with inks just for that. Now this again it uses roll or sheet paper and the, uh, the Canon rolls uh, they start at about $75 and go up depending on if you're using uh, glossy or matte or exactly what it is that you're printing. So you can see that for $75 bucks you actually can print quite a bit on these rolls. So it's very economical. Now the thing is uh, when we got this I wanted to know how difficult is it to print on a roll printer? Um, and you know, where, was the color going to match up? How fast was it? Was the resolution good? All of that kind of stuff. And so I initially plugged this into my computer. I had a bunch of files ready to go, both Photoshop files, high resolution JPEG files, etc. And my first experience was I tried to do it the old school way where I opened up a picture in Photoshop and then just used the print dialog and I was trying to turn on and off different print uh, color managements, you know, shut off the color management from Photoshop and let the printer handle it or shut it off from the printer and let Photoshop handle it and make sure I choose the right color profiles and all the transitions. And the truth is uh, I wasn't really successful in that first hour or so with the printer. And as you can see here, this is a print that I made. This was actually the very first one. And I had a bunch of white here and this color was totally off. The flesh tones were wrong. And I had a bunch of extra, uh, you know, white on the bottom. And it wasn't ex at all what I was expecting. And so what I did was instead of doing it the way I thought I should do it, 
I went ahead and used the plugin that is provided. So there's a plugin for Adobe Photoshop and Microsoft Office and Digital Photo Professional. And so that plugin, uh, once I use that, it's pretty cool. You just go into Photoshop and you can say export for uh, this printer and this dialog pops up and it is just beautiful because it says what size paper would you like to do and uh, exactly what style is it uh, matte or glossy and so it matches the role that you have and then um, it's it's so simple you just say go for it and it starts printing and what I found was that the color matched every single time it printed very quickly about 10 minutes a little bit less for two by three foot uh, uh, prints and I just didn't have any issue. In fact, I was able to queue up multiple uh, prints, and so I was able to go in there and say, you know what, I want to print 10 2 by 3 images, and I just built a queue and said, go for it, and this printer would just crank them out, cut them off, print out the next one, cut it off, and so we were able to do sort of a, uh, uh, you know, a, a factory where we're just cranking out images, which is exactly what you want when you have a printer like this and you're in a creative agency that needs to be printing out things at high capacity, and quickly and easily and so that does that so the other question I had in addition to is this easy to use and it is is what do the prints look like and so uh, these are only a few of the prints that we printed here and so I chose these because I was checking flesh tones on this uh, print and we did a bunch of other ones and specifically did they actually match what I had on my calibrated monitor and uh, it matched exactly and so uh, the reds are exactly what I want and these tones are exactly right the whites uh, don't have any color bias which is really nice and things like this where I have a really saturated image where I've cranked up the reds and the greens it printed exactly as I uh, asked it to and then we have this print over here that I actually created for a different printer review, a different Canon printer review, but I wanted to see if it held up. So specifically these areas where we have black transitioning into really, really dark gray, could you see this definition in that print and how well did things like uh, hair and eyebrows and skin texture and all those really fine details, how well did that hold up? And the answer is it holds up exceptionally well. And so this is actually an upsampled image and uh, in Photoshop I was able to uh, make this a little bit larger and I still had the detail that I wanted and with prints like this the viewing distance is going to be a few feet and so from you know two feet it just looks spectacular and you only see that it was upsampled when you get a few inches away from that which is what you really really want in an image like this you want to be able to hang it on the wall and have it look spectacular and it does. So in addition to this, we also printed some things like signs and banners and uh, store in displays and things like that to see if those would look great and they did. Vector art also looked really sharp. Those curves were just razor, razor sharp. And so overall, this uh, printer did exactly what I would expect a printer of this caliber to do. It, able, it enabled me to print very quickly it enabled us to use it in a group setting where multiple creatives could print through the network to this printer. It enabled us to do it very uh, efficiently at low cost and uh, it, it just worked out well. And so I give this very high marks for a printer that would be used in a professional environment. Now this we got and it had uh, for $2,904 it has not only the printer but it came on a stand that can roll around so you can put this uh, somewhere off into a closet or something if you need to. It comes with this basket for holding onto paper as it prints out so that it just doesn't fall on the floor. It also comes with a bunch of accessories like the adapters for two and three inch uh, rolls. It comes with two print heads. It comes with a maintenance cartridge to make sure things are stay clean. It also comes with 12 starter inks to make sure everything can come in there and a sample roll of paper so you can calibrate the print heads and make sure that you're up and running very quickly as well as software. So it comes with Canon's Poster Artist Lite software for doing things like printing posters and banners and uh, things like that that you might use in a store end display or on a wall or at an event. And so it's a great deal. So the entire thing, the Canon Image ProGraph IPF 6350, this 24 inch inkjet printer, the entire thing, again, it's $2,904, which is pretty spectacular considering the, uh, high, uh, the, the size of prints that you can get comparable to 13 by 19 printers that are about this caliber that uh, range about eight or $900, maybe even $1,000. So this is quite a deal. 
So there you have it. Again, the Canon Image ProGraph IPF 6350. I give it super high marks. I really like it, and I can recommend it to you as well. Well, thanks for joining me this week. Remember, if you would like to make a suggestion for some gear that, uh, for a review here on Adorama TV, you can send your suggestions to me at askmark at adorama.com. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.